Good morning, Gaffney High. I'm Trey Phipps. And I'm Morgan Wisnett, and you're watching WJSB. Hey, Trey, baby. We're going to stay with you, baby. Miss Bettis' students begin their Bulls Law Test Thursday. They hope to be finished with this test sometime in early May. The Social Studies Department has started a new club at GHS, the Gossip Club, as labeled by the founding member, Coach Osmond. Meets between every class period outside the main floor social studies pod. Membership to this club is extremely exclusive, exclusive and limited. Their motto is, if you're not a member, you're the topic. In August of 2006, the astronomy community developed new guidelines and standards in determining what is considered a planet within our solar system. These new guidelines and a vote led to the planet Pluto being excluded. This brought the number of planets from 9 to 8. But this week, NASA says they have discovered a new ninth planet. After re-collaborating the Humble Space Telescope, they were able to record the first video of the new planet. WGHB was lucky enough to receive this video, and we're bringing it to you now. Yes, this is uh, Dr. Ben Dover. Uh, if you can see now coming to your screen is planet MD-101. It has a uh, low orbit on the outer of our solar system, and one thing that we've noticed is that this uh, planet actually has a moon. Uh, it'll be coming into your screen here momentarily. Yes, there it is right there. We're naming this moon Rupert uh, just because of uh, one of the other scientists in our lab here is named Rupert, and he was the first one to find it. This is really an amazing discovery, and uh, we hope that the uh, space community and all the world will enjoy this brand new planet. GHS is announcing its 117th fundraiser of the year. The science department's Beakers for the Brainless fundraiser is raising money for the math department fundraiser 1235 Count Alive, which is raising money for the English department fundraiser Hyphen Awareness. Wow, that's a lot of money changing hands. Speaking of English department, one of our own teachers has entered a competition that showcases talent across the globe. Yeah, that's right, we're talking about the World Speaking Championship. This year's competition will be held in Yokohama, Japan. Representing the Eastern United States will be our own Aaron Fox. Good luck, Ms. Fox. We all know you'll come away with a victory. Here's something else that is going fast, the price of our drinks and our vending machines. Pepsi has announced an increase in the price of their products in our school's machines for the 2009-2010 school year. Currently, students are paying $1.25 for a 20-ounce beverage. We can expect to pay $3.75 for the same size next year. This leads to us to Pepsi's new slogan, Pepsi, the taste of a broke generation. That's not all the food news. The Cherokee County School District is having to cut back and are looking for new ways to increase revenue. One method that has been approved is in the cafeteria. Breakfast prices will go from 80 cents to $2.25 and lunch will go from $1.60 to $4. Plus, a very innovative and green approach has been implemented for the ninth grade academy. The ninth grade food will now be recycled from the trash cans of the main campus. Shortly after breakfast and lunch, cafeteria workers will wheel over the trash cans to the ninth grade campus. Students will be allowed to pick through the unused food at their leisure. We all have to sacrifice for the economy and the environment. Now on to John Vaughn with sports. How y'all doing this fine morning, GHS? I'm doing good too, thanks for asking. Gaffney High football program was previously sponsored by Under Armour, but due to the lack of championships won in the past in the past years, Under Armour has withdrew their sponsorship. Starter is taking over Gaffney football. Bet those half-naked fans won't look as good on the starter bus. Gaffney High football program also has hired a new member to their staff. Miss Howe will be coaching the special teams. How fitting. The baseball team will be playing their next game in Yankee Stadium. Yankees couldn't get many fans to come out and watch them. So since we have the greatest fans in the land, they invited us to come play. Speaking of football, Nations Ford had a female pitcher. She pitched a no-hitter against the Indians, striking out Bubba Wright, Cameron Culp, and Bobby Jackson three times each. The rest of the team, just a couple of times. Due to the extravagant losses of Villanova and Clemson, Coach Kraszewski of Duke is getting fired. Uh, I guess they found a little rat poison in Durham or something. He just had to go. Um, Tiger Woods will not be making an appearance in the Masters this year. He is officially withdrawing his name from the PGA Tour, period. He says he wants to pursue his, commer his commercial and what he calls an acting career. The Steelers won the Super Bowl earlier in February, 
But yesterday, the NFL took the championship away due to misuse of HGH. Baseball isn't the only sport they're cracking down on these days. The boys' soccer program began a new pregame ritual. They will eat a cup of applesauce before every match. Mm, that looks good. Mmm. Amazing. Yum, yum, yum. Wonder who came up with this pregame ritual. That's all, and we will see you next time, Wildcats. Another budget cut. The district has cut schools on Wednesdays. We're not here right now, but I bet you are. Aloha! Aloha.